In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a 22 gun sick freight ship of the line. Now if you're new to the channel tool, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you're interested in more ship tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to my ship tutorial playlist. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So here we are on my flat world, and the reason I'm building it on my flat world is it's so much easier for you guys to see what's actually going on, especially with the underwater parts. Got a lot of slabs and stairs going on in order to make the shape look good. Now that obviously, for quite a while now, we can have um, waterlogged blocks. So anyway, this introduction section will talk to talk to you guys about where to place this underwater, uh, what kind of size it is, all of those kind of like nice things that are pretty useful when building this one. If you're building it out in the ocean, the only thing you need to know is where the water level is. So overall guys, this one is 48 blocks long. So that is right from the back of the, uh, the spanker here, which is that nice sail, all the way to the front of the bowsprit. So that's 48 blocks. It's 23 blocks wide. That is including the sails. Now the sails, of course, can be a little bit different on, you know, depending on how you build them. Uh, also, if you have them up. The actual hull itself is seven blocks uh, and then count an extra block on either side to nine if you want the cannons sticking over, if you did want to, you know, really have it quite tight in. And in terms of its own height, which doesn't really matter usually with these ones, it's 37 blocks high. So right from the bottom, right to the top. So if you're building this one in the water, for example, you're on one of the console versions and you can't use uh, the fantastic World of Java Editions World Edit, um, then you know, you're know you gonna need to know where you're gonna be building this one. So I would recommend doing a box, or, and that box being you know 48 blocks long and 23 blocks wide, that helps you you know figure out where everything's going. You'll also notice I've got these blocks here as well, going to the first layer in case you wanna know where the front of this one is, which if we go to this block right here, actually let me do it in, do it in a different colour rather than the main material. Um, that is a total of, just have a look, 19 blocks back. There we go, yeah, 19 blocks back. Sorry, I've got it on my notes. Uh, my notes are just out of sight. So, yeah, if you did want to do that, it's 19 blocks back from the middle of uh, this box. So, water level, it's nice and easy. It's actually on our third level. It's this strip of white that we have here. Obviously, we've got white going up here as well, but that will then just be sticking out the water. So what that actually means is if you've got your water running here, you, you can put a block right next to that water and go down so that you've got three blocks. So it's like three blocks next to the water or two under, completely under the water. Um, that's where you're actually going to have your first layer. So you can build the box one layer underneath that if you wanted to. Uh, people have said the box seems to be pretty good as an idea. Um, but anyway... That is actually it for the introduction section. Uh, also, probably actually very quickly to note, if you want to switch any of the blocks out, go for it. Um, you know, this is just how I've built it. I've used birch here. Some people might want to use, for example, acacia and give it nice, like nice reddish, kind of orangey color, uh, or anything else. Same with any of the other materials, and feel free to vary everything. So you know, go for it. Change it. Just remember what you've changed. <laughs> It'll be difficult to do the tutorial um, if you're trying to use the same blocks. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so we're on to layer number one. So I'm gonna be using the box in order to, well, show you guys where everything is. So what we're gonna do is from the front of the box, we are actually gonna move over 12 blocks. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. That's actually gonna be our midpoint. So that'll be mid, basically exactly in the middle of the box. So you actually have 11 blocks on either side. That is the 12th block from either side that you go from. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go 19 blocks back. Uh, I'm gonna count every other one. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, like that. The reason I do every other one is if I misplace blocks, uh, it's easier to count. <laughs> Simple as that. Right, grab some smooth quartz. Um, that's gonna be your first block. So you're gonna need smooth quartz and you're also gonna need some white concrete. I like these two, um, you can then Variate it with smooth concrete blocks and switch out some of the white uh, concrete, definitely. Uh, that works quite nicely. Smooth course slab, you can have this on the upper piece, right against this block. And then we're going to have four blocks, so one, two, three, and four of your concrete. We're then going to go out diagonally, and we're going to have 13 go back. So we just go diagonally once, and then we go back. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So just to show you guys that. So you've got those four blocks, and then it's diagonal, and it goes back there. 
Can then move back in again. So we're on the center line. We're going to have four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And again, that's not touching any of those at all. We're then going to need a jungle fence block. This is for the rudder piece. So plonk that in and also plunk in, plonk in a, a jungle, so not jungle, spruce planks block. I'll get there eventually. So then we do the same on the other side. So we've got these 13 quartz slab blocks. Smooth quartz, that is. I mean, it can use normal quartz, it's up to you. And then you'll go, hmm, I wonder what we do here. Well, just fill it in. You can put in slabs if you want to do If you want to do lower slabs, but I've always found that there's not really that much point. I'm actually just going to drop straight in. So I always find that actually I prefer this kind of a thing rather than having like this kind of a thing. Um, it just seems a bit more user like useful. You can put a lot more inside of it. So that's why I would always say just yeah, go for blocks for, for the most of the hole if you want to put stuff in storage. Um, but guys, that is it for layer number one. And now for layer number two. So what you guys are going to do is right at the front, we're actually going to place uh, a block already on top of that. Well, I've gone with yellow, but obviously you don't, guys don't have to go with yellow. And then we're going to go forwards with a slab on the upper piece there. I'm actually going to remove these now because we don't need any of these blocks anymore. Just to get us lined up in the square in case you guys were wanting to do that. So there we go, from there. We're now going to go back and diagonal with one slab. So you get them right there. Then we're going to have a block right behind it. Then we're going to go out. We're going to have two slabs like this. So it goes slab, block, slab, block, two slabs. Then we're going to have a block. And then we're going to go out again. And we're going to have nine slabs on the upper piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Like that. So this is what you end up getting. And then all we do behind that, and again, you can do like slabs in here if you wanted to, same with like these ones, you can put in slabs. Um, I just prefer to put in full blocks because I can then put stuff on them. I'm also going to do this on the other side, we'll just fill in that piece there. Let's do it on here as well. So we've got slab, block, slab, block, out with your two slabs, then one block, and then we go out and we have the, those nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just going to fill this up on the back here as well. And these ones. There we go. So you end up getting that kind of thing going on. So for the back now, we're going to have, well, we're actually going to extend where we've got these blocks here by three blocks. One, two, and three. Then with our slabs, we're going to have three slabs on the back of this. One, two, and three. And something I've never done before <laughs> is actually to hook this slab around the side. Um, so it's the first time I've ever done it on this kind of a build. And then with these ones, we just have blocks in the back. So on the side then, you can see that kind of block there and you can see the shape going up. Um, but yeah, I, I've never done this before. I don't know why, but it, it's a new one for me. Um, we're then gonna have just two blocks on top of this. Then we're gonna have our jungle fence and our spruce planks. You can also, if you wanted to, uh, you know, mix and match when you do the, the rudder like that. But um, for this one, I've just gone with lots of fences going up. Uh, so right, on the other side, we also need to fill in that block, so just whack in the block there. Three blocks, one, two, and three. They just go off the back of the last one. Then three slabs going back, one, two, and three. And then join that into the side, going around like that. And then we can just fill these two up like that. So yeah, it's interesting. I quite like the look of it, actually. I think it works, especially on the back of this one. Um, it really makes that kind of go up quite steeply, but you still got the real uh, center line. I think it's called the keel. I'm pretty sure it's called the keel. It doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> that is it anyway, guys, for layer number two. For layer number three, what we're going to do, guys, is right on the front. Well, actually, we're going to need a couple more other blocks and might as well grab them. Smooth quartz stair and also spruce stair. That's all it is. That's the only addition at this point. Uh, what we're going to do from this front piece here, we're going to place down a white concrete block on top of that slab that we had last time. Then we're going to have a smooth quartz stair upside down on the front of it, just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a smooth quartz slab on the side of that block that we place down, just on the upper piece like that. Then we're going to have two blocks of white concrete behind it. Then we're going to have one block of um, smooth concrete slab on the upper piece right there. Then we're going to have two blocks, and I'm doing this slightly differently than I did the last layer, sorry guys. Uh, we're going to have two blocks behind that. Then on the side of that we're going to have an upper piece of your slab like that then we're going to have 13 blocks going back 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so there we go so this is what we end up getting we end up getting 
uh, forwards from that slab, a stair, then we get a slab on the top piece here, then a block, then a slab, then a block, then a slab, then 13 blocks back. So there we go, okay, that's what we get. So next what we'll do is we have an upper slab here, then we'll have two blocks behind it. Then on this on this side of this one we'll have an upper upper slab. Then we're gonna have 13 blocks back. One, two, three, four, five. No, we're not. Sorry guys. Then we're gonna have two blocks again. Then we'll have a slab, then we'll have 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There we go. Almost messed that up. Very close. Sorry guys. <laughs> Some of these are just like uh, such a nightmare because it's all quite white, so all of my writing scribblings and uh, stuff, I'll get confused. And because I've only got the screenshot on one side, when I try to do it on the other, sometimes I get confused. It's not good. Anyway, smooth quartz slab. We're going to have three upper pieces directly on the back of these ones, like that. Then we're going to move in and we're going to have two blocks going back. So two blocks going back there. Then on the back here, we're actually going to have another block of white concrete here. And we're going to have two upper slabs like that. And then right here, we can have another block going across. And we'll fill in the back of these three blocks like that. So, smooth quartz slab. Three uppers here. We're going to move in. We're going to have two blocks, not stairs. Two blocks sticking outwards, just like that. Two blocks there. We're actually going to move that block in. And then we're going to have smooth quartz slabs right on the back here, like that. Going across. And we'll just put in three blocks for this back piece. Uh, and then the final bit, of course, is the rudder. So another bit of jungle fence and we'll have a spruce stair. That is the rudder. So if you did, like I was saying, want to have something like that, or if you wanted to uh, have it the other way around, uh, you can do. It's it's totally up to you. That doesn't look too bad. You can do it as slabs as well. Um, you know, play around with it. I usually don't worry about it too much because it's it's mostly under the water. Oh, actually, this is all completely under the, the water. But, you know, it's up to you guys. It's really up to you guys what you want to do with it. That's it for layer number three. So for layer number four, guys, this is where we're getting on to some of the dark oak. So what you're going to need, actually I'm going to rearrange it because I always prefer it this way around. I don't know why, but dark oak slab, stair, and also a block. Also going to need some oak slabs because we're going to put in part of the gun deck, which is kind of exciting, just the just the floor of it, but uh, still kind of cool. So on the front, we're still going to be on our white blocks. So place a block directly on top of the last layer. And this is where we're going to actually have an upside down stair on either side of it, like this, facing forwards. So this is to make it quite sharp going up, so you get this kind of almost like an S shape uh, going on with the beak as well. Uh, I quite look, like the look of it, so that's kind of why I've gone with it. We're then going to have two blocks behind this, so two blocks behind it. Then an upside down stair, then we're going to have two white blocks behind that as well. And then we're going to have a dark oak stair, so upside down dark oak stair right here on that block, that's why I placed that block down. It just seems to make sense. Um, and then we're going to have 16 blocks of dark oak behind this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Like that. So on the other side, guys, we're going to have two blocks of your white concrete. Then we're going to have an upside down smooth quartz stair. Two blocks of your white concrete again. And then again with your dark oak stair upside down right here. So that's why we've got the white block there. And then we're going to have 16 blocks of dark oak. I'm not even going to bother counting. I'm just going to line it up with the last side because I know I got it right, I think. <laughs> I say I know I got it right, but I'm pretty sure I got it right. So um, what we'll do now, guys, is with your white, we're going to switch back over. We're going to have two blocks of white here, so we'll go over. Um, and then we're going to have a smooth quartz slab on the upper piece here, right on the back of that. We're going to have two blocks of your white concrete. So those are just kind of behind that behind that slab, actually. And then you have those there, so it's directly on top of the last slab. Then we're going to have a smooth quartz upside down stair. Then three blocks going across the black one, two, and three, which will go over the rudder piece. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So we've got two blocks here. Then we've got a slab. And then we've got two blocks here. One being in behind that um, slab there. And then a stair right on the back like that. Now we're going to need dark oak slab, and we're going to have one here and one here. It's a little bit weird. It's part of how this cabin works, so this is just the kind of bits. It gives it a little bit of an arch, um, but by itself, I, when I was looking at the picture, I was thinking, that is so strange. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. So with your oak slab, what we're going to do is this part's really nice and easy. Where we've got the, uh, where it starts to kind of go in on the, on the sides, this is where we actually 
have it cutting across. So this gets cut all the way across. Um, we'll cut out the kind of where you can get the cargo and stuff like that into it. Uh, we'll do that a little bit later, but we'll do all this. Uh, let's have a look at where we're at, where we can keep going as well. So if we keep going, that's really difficult to figure out exactly where it is. So let me have a quick look. Right, so all we're going to do is from this kind of dark oak here, we'll go in with one, leave one, and we're going to have three in the middle. And then the rest of it goes across and is all kind of joined up. So this is what we end up doing like this. It's because um, all of the all of the kind of decks on this are bowed a little bit uh, to kind of fit the shape of the boat. So yeah, um, we do it. I do it quite a lot in Minecraft where I really accentuate it. It's not that bad really on ships. You can you can feel it when you go up them, but it's not like as bad as it is in Minecraft. <laughs> But um, yeah, it definitely works. So that's all we're going to have for that decking part, really. Um, and that, guys, is it for layer number four. For layer number five, guys, what we're going to do is right at the front, um, we can just place down any block on top of the last. And then we're going to have a smooth court stair coming off of that. So that's what we'll end up having there, just up, up front. We're then going to have a dark oak plank on top of the last stair that we had going outwards. And we'll bring that one back by an extra one like that. Then on the side, we're going to have a upside down dark oak stair with two blocks of dark oak planks on the side there, like that. Do the same on the other side. So we get two blocks of dark oak planks here, upside down dark oak stair with two dark oak planks behind it. Now what we get to do is introduce our color stripe where we can actually have the guns coming out. Again, use whatever block you want to. I use birch. It's kind of more of the, uh, it's kind of supposed to be the yellowish one that we've got for um, kind of like British kind of colours, because uh, it's a sick freight which is very, very British, uh, but it would be just a frigate for this ship, by the way. Anyway, what we're going to do is with our birch or whatever planks you guys want or whatever colour you want, have two blocks, leave a block, 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 two blocks, uh, for, for, for that. So one, two, three, four, we're actually going to have five in total. Uh, but the last one is not going to be two blocks. It's actually just going to be one block of birch. That's the only kind of difference with that. So there we go. We're then going to have four blocks of dark oak planks. One, two, three, and four like that. Then a dark oak stair upside down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have two blocks. So on this star stair here, we're going to have two blocks of dark oak from that side there. We're going to have an upside down dark oak stair, but this time it's going to be looking towards the middle of the ship. So that's where you get that there. Uh, then what we're going to do is, if we just plonk in a block for the time being, uh, we're then going to have an upside down dark oak stair coming off the back here. Then a dark oak slab. Then a dark oak stair. And right in the back of this, I just put in, put in a block. Um, I'm pretty sure I might have even put in blocks on these. I honestly can't quite remember what I did with it, but uh, I'll show you guys uh, later on. So, same on the other side, so we get two, miss one, 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 and then one. Then with our dark oak, we're going to have four, one, two, three, and four, so it's directly on top of uh, that layer, plus the white blocks here. Then we're going to have a dark oak stair upside down. Then on the inside of this, we're going to have a block to cover up that little gap of that stair, plus another one. And then we're going to have a dark oak stair going to into the middle here, so we get this kind of rounded shape so we get a bit more a bit more shape on the cabin i always try and do a little bit more shape on the cabin this one's quite simple but underneath at least it's um it's not not really anyway so there we go right so for the cannons i use anvils uh, that's kind of like my, my favorite block you can also use like blackstone slab things like that it's totally up to you um and also i use barriers because i'm in creative if you haven't got barriers use string it looks the same well i say it looks the same you can just about see it but we'll just plonk a barrier underneath each of these Put two bits of anvils on them, like that, and keep them there as well. We might as well do the same on the other side, why not? It's nice and simple and easy, so plonk those in. There we go, and then all I do with mine is I grab a... a <laughs> try and find it, spruce stair. So I use spruce stairs for mine on the back, and I'll usually put in player heads uh, which are the cannon wheels. So there's actual little wheels for cannons on there. But those then get you some nice looking cannons. And that's the reason I have the two block gap is for uh, wheels to go either side. You know, you could, of course, always do for wheels. 
uh, something like your oak trapdoors, so you know have them on either side like this. No problem at all. That'll do your wheels, and because you've got the two-block gap, you can then line them all up. Uh, just gives you that kind of flexibility. You can cram more cannon in if you just have one block gap, if you wanted to. Totally up to you. Right, so what we'll do now is we're actually going to get another block. We're going to get a block for the mast, which is the stripped spruce wood. So for this, what we're going to do, we're going to leave this block here, uh, but the next block along, we're just going to go up to here. Also going to grab a ladder. We can then put that ladder going down. So this at least means you can get into the hole uh, via a ladder. It's actually pretty pretty good size for this one. Um, definitely is. Then with our uh, oak slabs around here, we're just going to go around here on a lower slab. So on those two sides. And also around all of this as well. Oops. All of this as well is going to be lower slab. Then we're going to have the upper slabs right here like that. Nice and simple. Then next what we'll do is we're going to cut out, uh, we're actually going to cut out quite a few different little bits. We're going to grab that oak, oak trap door. Um, so where we've got the second to last cannon, find the middle of that block and or, or that part of it. And this is where we're going to have our next um, mast going up. Now for mine, I actually put in six blocks for getting into the hold just via here. You can do the same if you want to. How many I've put down there, I have no idea. But one, two, three, four five and then six so you can do the same if you want to you can always change it up you can you can remove it and not have it at all um, it's totally up to you it really is it's not a problem um, in the back anyway get onto this now what we're going to do is on these sides have three lower slabs then bring that across like that and we can fill this in as well and then right in the middle now we're going to have spruce uh, stripped spruce wood so bring that up like that either side of that we're gonna have a lower slab so like that and there and then the rest are upper slabs so you can bring this all over so that's apparently what I did with mine I didn't actually put in a full block there I just had it all as oak so interesting um, and then another little bit of a detail and this is again for the bottom of this is actually a slab on the sides here which I didn't put on the on the last little bit but since we're doing a load of oak, it kind of makes a lot of sense. So that gives you the gun deck at least all sorted out now. So we've got the gun deck. We've got the uh, we've got ten cannons on here, which is pretty good. Um, obviously, in real life, you'd be able to fit a lot more on this kind of size, but uh, it is Minecraft after all. So let's get on to the next layer. And for layer number six, what we're going to do is grab a dark oak plank block. You're going to put that on top of the uh, white quartz that we had before. And also another block on top of the dark oak that we got on the side there. So both of those like that. Birch stairs. We're going to have an upside down birch stairs right on the side of this one. But nothing here. Nothing in that block there. And just on the front of that we're going to have an oak slab. This is part of the beak uh, that we'll be getting onto. Then with your birch plank we're going to place down one block. Leave a gap. That's where we're going to have another cannon. We'll put that in in a bit. Then we're going to have a uh, birch plank. Then bring that back with another birch plank like that. Switch over to your dark oak stairs. And what we're going to do here is going to have a dark oak stair just normally. Then we're going to have a block over the top of the cannons. We're going to put in a dark oak slab for the most part. Let's put in those slabs like this. So just alternate between the two. Like this. And there as well. And then get just to this point here. So what we're also going to do is we're actually going to grab... A spruce trapdoor and we can put the trapdoor in as well it's on the top so it does actually close down kind of <laughs> it doesn't quite work it's just this is the, this is what i found is the best kind of looking uh for it so we're just going to put in the cannon as well because why not i'll put it on both sides for this one um, and this is the one that's a bit difficult because if you put it in there you can't get to the right right to the front uh put in the stairs that is but it is what it is Right, so the other side, it's exactly the same. We're going to have a, well, obviously, <laughs> it's exactly the same. We're going to have a birch there, upside down birch there, with an oak slab on the upper piece of the, that one there. We're going to have one piece of birch planks. Obviously, we've got the gap, which we've already put in. Put in your two birch planks on the side there. Then we're going to have dark oak stairs on top of the last uh, block here. Then a block. Then we're just going to go over the cannons. I'm actually going to plank them down like this, I think. Maybe a little bit faster. 
And then we'll have the dark oak slabs in there like that. And then grab your spruce trapdoor. And we'll place these on top. There we go. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have right on the back here a birch plank. This is where our cannon's going to be. And we're going to have another birch plank. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a birch stair. Just on the side there. So it's a little bit different with this shape. So here, birch plank. Leave a gap. Birch plank. Then a birch stair like that. And you'd think it's supposed to be here, but it's not. <laughs> so it's just how the shape turned out. I don't know why. Um, right, so then put on our barrier blocks or string. Put in your anvils, so that you've got that there. Like that. And now we can get onto the uh, kind of next bit, which is which is around the back of the cabin. There we go. I'll get there eventually. Um, I went with terracotta, which I still keep on calling uh, hardened clay, but I don't think I'll ever get over them renaming that. Um, so, you know, it'll be that in my mind forever. And we're just going to have this going all the way around the back. So just like this. You can, of course, use any colours you want. You can use any materials you want. Uh, I just went with this to make it quite, I don't know, simple and basic. Um, I was thinking I'll make it fancier for kind of bigger ships. You know, you know and go with that as the main thing. Right, so right here what we're going to do is we're going to put an upside down oak stair on top of this bit here, going to the side. Two oak slabs, then another oak stair, like that. So oak stair, oak stair, and then two oak slabs. And that's why this bit doesn't look as awkward as it should, <laughs> basically. Right on the back, we can have an oak stair on the back here, oak stair on the back here. Then we're going to put them on the inside, like this, with a slab in the middle, just to make another one of these little arches. So it's all to try and make this look really quite um, stylistic kind of thing and have lots of shapes going on, I guess. Um, that's what I was going for anyway. And it kind of works, so yeah. Uh, we can, of course, build up all of these if you want to. Don't have to at all. Totally up to you. Um, so at least that's done. Also, if you did want to switch this block out here for a birch slab, you can, of course, do so as well. Might look better on the inside for that one, but uh, yeah. That is it anyway for layer number six. And then for layer number seven, what we're going to do is come to the front, place a dark oak block directly on top of the last layer. Then we're going to come forwards with a dark oak stair upside down and also a dark oak stair on either side of this. So we're going to get lots of lots of stair work going on here. What we can then do right on the front is we can have an oak slab right on the front piece here. And that will be on the upper. And then on the side of this, we're going to have a lower slab. So this kind of then joins up to this. So you get this this bit going on, and same on the other side, so lower bit there. We're actually going to need jungle fence as well for this, so we're going to put a jungle fence piece just on the last layer, on top of the last layer's oak, so that's where that is going to go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have our dark oak planks, this is going to go on top of the two birch here. Then just like before, we're going to have a um, dark oak slab over the gun, over the cannon. Then we're going to have two blocks of dark oak just on top of it like that. We can also put our spruce trapdoor on top at the same time. With our oak slab, right here we're going to have on the upper, we're going to have the oak slab. Down on the lower, we're going to have an oak slab there like that. Could also, if you wanted to, you know, put in more fences and things. I just didn't with this one. Try to keep it well, relatively simple if I could. So same on this side, so two of them here. Then we're going to have a, oops, <laughs> then we're going to have an uh, oak uh, not oak, dark oak slab on the upper piece, then two blocks behind this, and put your jungle trapdoor on there like that. And I've forgotten about the oak pieces. So the oak pieces, of um, we're going to put them here. They're going to be on the upper and then on the lower like that. So that's what we do for those two bits. Then what we're going to do is, with our dark oak slab, we're actually going to put that on top of here, uh, which actually means we need to extend this by one block. So the dark oak planks there is going to be just extended by one block. On top of this we're then going to actually have one block. Then with dark oak stairs we're going to have them going in this way and then this way like that. So we're going to wrap them around. So looking towards the front for the first one then looking towards the middle of the ship for the other one. So for this one same thing we're going to have a slab here. We're going to... Oh, I already put the block in. Um, I already put the block in apparently. I just forgot about it. Then we're going to have a block behind that slab. <laughs> then we're going to have a stair going towards the front then wraps around to the side here like that. Then what we're going to do is just drag this back in planks. And this is going to go all the way back until 
we actually get to. So we've got that there. Actually go right to the cannon. Uh, go over the cannon with your slab again. And then this is where we actually stop because we're going to have a dark oak stair just going onto that piece there to round that off. So bring your pl planks all the way over till we hit that last cannon that we've got here. Put your dark oak slab over the top of it. Then we have a dark oak stair and also put your spruce trap door as well over that like that. Cool. Right, so but where we've got this stair, we're actually going to put in a dark oak plank. So this is going to go in there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two blocks of terracotta. And then going to have two blocks of, and I've gone with white stained glass pane. You don't have to do that. It's up to you if you want to use another one. But I've gone with the white. Put two of those in. Then we're going to have a block of terracotta. At the back, we're going to have three lots of panes. Then terracotta. Then two panes on that side. And then two of them there like that. So just that bit of the cabin is coloured. You could, no problem at all, have that bit as being uh, painted as well. As if it has actually been painted. Um, I just I just didn't. I don't know why. <laughs> so it's one of those. Uh, whether it just didn't really matter or what, I don't know. Um, anyway, we need a spruce fence, which is a block I haven't got at the minute anyway. So spruce fence will be going on the side here and here and on the back there in the middle and also there. So we just put these on the edges like that. We're also going to need, I don't think I've got the block. No, I haven't. Going to need an oak stair and we're also going to need acacia trapdoor as well. So I put acacia trapdoors on these. I thought they looked a little bit fancier. So, of course, we can only fit them on these ones like that. But um, I quite like the uh, the little bit of fence in the middle to kind of break it up a bit. Uh, and the same on these ones as well. Um, I've got them facing down. You can, of course, have them facing up with a little bit of metal. It's totally up to you. Uh, and then right on this one, we're actually going to have an upside down oak stair like that. So just put that in. Oh, put that in as well without trying to fall down. And then what we can also do is just build up these very quickly. And we'll just quickly put in part of the deck. So for the deck, we're going to actually build off of the middle mass that we've got here, where we've already got those trapdoors down there. And we're going to go towards the back with three upper oak slabs. Now, then what we're going to do is we're going to cut in. So we're going to end up with a one and then a two on either side. So it's just that one in the middle, weirdly, which is... <laughs> Which is up there like that. Don't know why. Why not? <laughs> I guess. Uh, and then what we can do is we can also go around just the side here. On the sides, we're going to have six oak trapdoors. So one, two, three, four, five. That's, that is five. Um, we're going to have those on each side. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have the trapdoor. So this is technically on the next level layer, but it's a lot easier. Just well, it might, might as well just do it all together. There's no real downside of doing it. So having that in the middle, you could, if you wanted to, um, have a uh, spruce. I was thinking, I wonder if I put spruce on that. Yeah, you can do either. Uh, it depends on how much light you want to let through and how much you want it to kind of look a little bit like netting. But um, might as well keep it all the same and have that going across there like that. So at least then you've got ways in. Cool. So oak slabs will go on the sides of these. There we go, like that. And then we're going to have another one going all the way around side here and then just same with that side just an extra one in the middle like that and as you can see it's quite it's quite a good space really um, for this kind of ship sick freight it would be really quite cramped um, to be fair even first rates even uh, like the HMS Victory it's really cramped on some of the lower decks really really cramped so this is quite spacious <laughs> but uh, yeah quite good but anyway guys that is it for layer number I think it's seven. And now for layer number eight. What we're going to do, guys, is with your dark oak planks, we're going to come to the front, place that on top of the dark oak uh, stair that we had before. We're then going to have... That's why I need to really sort my materials out, don't I? We're going to, then going to have an upside-down uh, oak stair around the front here. We're going to have one on the sides of this as well. So this is all part of the beak stuff. And then on top of the jungle... Um, fence we got we're going to put a oak slab as well so we get all that then with a dark oak plank what we're going to do we can have this behind this on the side as well and then another one like that then with oak uh, oak slabs we're going to have one on the upper then one on the lower like that 
this is quite a tricky <laughs> part of the ship. So there's two, yeah, sorry guys. Those a plank behind here, and then two on the sides there. Then with our oak slab, we can have one on the upper and then one on the lower. So it all kind of comes together, kind of. Um, you'll see how it all kind of works in a bit anyway. So it's kind of cool, actually. So um, then we're going to go over to our dark oak stairs. And we're going to have a dark oak stair wrapping around this way. So facing the front, then to the side. Then we're going to have a block. And then we're going to have a dark oak stair this way. We're going to have a dark oak stair going the other way as well. So we end up with quite a bit of a complicated looking thing. Um, over this piece right here that we put in before, we're actually going to have an upside down stair like that. We're then going to leave a gap because we're actually going to have another cannon. So let's grab the barrier block and let's grab the anvils. So we'll put this in like that. Whoop. And we can also, of course, grab spruce stair as well and plonk that down. Might as well do that on the other side. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I need the barrier block first before I place that down, otherwise the anvil will not stay in place. Not surprisingly. There we go. So put these on here. Let's do the same on the other side uh, quite quickly. Well, I say quickly, it won't be that quick, but uh, stair facing the front. Then it's going to be facing the middle of the ship. Then we're going to have a block. Then we're going to have a stair facing the front and then a stair facing the back of the ship. Like this. Then coming forwards at an angle, we're going to have an upside down stair so that's on the main part of the main part of the ship here then if we go back over to the other side now what we're going to have is a block on the other side of the cannon just a normal block then we're going to have an oak fence then four pieces of oak fence gate then another oak fence so here we've got a block of oak oak planks fence one two three four and then another fence like that so there we go nice and quite quite complicated as you, as you guys can kind of see. Um, what we're also going to do now is we'll put in the area for the shrouds very very quickly just while we're on this layer. So right where we've got this dark oak slab we're just going to have one piece of spruce um, slab just above it. So it's just on the upper piece. That's so where we'll have the shrouds for the front part of it. So right here. There we go. Right there. So we've got that slab just above above that really because it'll be across those three blocks so that's all good so for the back what we're going to do is we're going to have a dark oak plank this is where we're going to have another cannon so we're going to plonk that in as well let's go barrier block might as well do the same on the other side so block so we're going to have a cannon so put in your two bits of your anvil oh not there <laughs> put down the barrier block just don't even use it yep that's what you need to do uh, grab your spruce stairs, we can whack that on as well. There, like that, for the back part of the cannon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a dark oak stair on the side here. Now this is where it gets a bit complicated, so what we're going to do is we're going to face the back, then we're going to go to the side of the ship, then what we're going to do is going to face the back again, just to get this little bit going on here, for whatever reason. So that's what I ended up going with. So just the same on the other side, face the back, Go to the Yeah, that is right. No, no, that's not right, sorry. Face the face the front. I was thinking that does not seem to work. Face the front, face the back, face the middle of the ship, then face the back. There we go, like that. And it makes makes it look like there's a slab here. Basically all of this is just to try and offset your eyes so when it goes up on an angle, it, it kinda looks cool. I I think it just looks cool. Honestly. Um that's the only real reason. <laughs> so don't need don't need much more of a reason than that. Um, so right on the back here, what we're going to have is two upper spruce slabs, slabs like that. And that's going to be where the back part of the shrouds are. You can just see them there. We'll do the mid part in a sec before I forget about it. So um, and the thing is, we can't do the shrouds without them. So I won't properly forget about it, but you know what I mean. Uh, and then on the back here, where we've got the dark oak plank, we're going to place down another dark oak plank. On the top of this, we're going to have a dark oak stair facing the middle. Then face the back to wrap it around like that. They're going to have two, actually three pieces of um, dark oak planks. And in fact, these are going to go all the way over the top. I don't think, I don't think I put stairs in. No, I didn't. Could have put stairs in those two pieces. It's totally up to you, actually. Um, I just, for whatever reason, uh, I didn't put them in. I think it's probably because I wanted the look of those. Yeah, I think it was. So, 
must have been the must have been the occasion change my mind so changing the things that I do for whatever reason um, there we go right so on this piece now what we're gonna do or we can do that actually let's do it the same on the other side first let's just get that bit done so face the middle for this one and then face the back for that one and just put two planks over the top there we go nice and nice and complete up then if you grab your oak slab we're gonna have an oak slab here then we're gonna have two oak stairs and then an oak slab then for this piece, we're going to have oak slab, oak slab on the upper, upside down oak stair, then upper oak slab, then lower oak slab. So again, it's just to make it look, I don't know, kind of a little bit more interesting. As you can see, I've just put an oak trapdoor on the back. Uh, I'll probably forget that, so I'm actually going to put that on now, just because it'll get missed. So there we go. So same on this one, oak slab, oak slab, and then oak stairs over the top of that to kind of complete that part of the cabin that looks pretty good so let's find out where we need to put these extra slabs now it's nice and easy anyway so we're not really finding out much uh, right where you got this cannon we got at the back we're gonna have two slabs right inside here so one of them will hit into uh, or just be under where the um, it's kind of bit where we've got ropes going across is this kind of area this mid bit so that's what we get for that and then finishing up the deck part of this what we're going to do is we're going to have our oak slabs. We're going to have them right on the front of the ship here. Upper slab, well, say upper slab, sorry, lower slab on this level. Go around here, wrap this all the way around. Uh, we also need to uh, kind of raise this up a little bit, actually. This one is, in fact, a composter. Any of you use composter or a barrel? Uh, you guys are now convinced me that composter is the best, by the way. <laughs> in the comments you guys have convinced me so uh, good on that so have your ladder up onto this bit uh, we're going to have a spruce trap door then on this bit here and just on the sides of these you're still going to have that lower slab just have this going all the way around and then what we're going to do is just on the sides we're going to have the upper slab just on the sides of these bits like that because we're actually going to have lower spruce slab here then we're gonna have a spruce plank, you know, full block there, and then just a slab there like that. And this is all gonna be part of the bowsprit. So on the inside, what you can do if you wanted to, is actually have a slab there. So it then kind of angles all the way up. So you've got it going up um, slab at a time. But you know, it's kind of up to you how you want to do that, really. So for the back, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have lower slabs on the two sides here. It's weird that they're both on the sides of where the guns are. I, I must have done this on purpose to fit those guns in, I think. Uh, <laughs> it can't be by chance. Um, then what we're going to do is, yeah, keep going across. Apart from in the middle, the middle one is actually going to be an oak stair. It's going to be facing the front of the ship. Um, and the reason for that is, quite nice and simple, is you're going to need to grab yourself a grindstone. And then you can plonk this grindstone on sideways, which makes it a nice little wheel. Um, I think it's pretty neat, actually. Pretty cool. So we've got that going to there. Let's raise this uh, stripped spruce wood all the way up. And in fact, the lower slab is going to join onto that right there. But on either side, this is going to be the last lower slab. So these will be uppers for that. We've got lowers there. Like that. So that's the last one for that piece. And all of these are upper slabs to complete that part of the deck. Look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? Um, and also, this block right here is in fact this mast a composter we'll get that in there look at that so we've just got the final little bits of touches on the main hull uh, like the forecastle and the build up on the back um, and then want some masts and rigging and sails and all that kind of stuff this is the best bit of the tutorial the rest of it is long and tedious <laughs> so uh, yeah but I, I do quite like this so we'll get on to that so final parts for the main hull what we're gonna do guys is come to the front and we're gonna have an upside down oak stair coming forwards and then we're going to have a lower oak slab off of that. We'll build in kind of like the bowsprit. Well, we can build in bits of it, to be fair, right now if we want to. So might as well. Um, we're just going to go up with a slab at a time. Um, sometimes I like to put like four blocks and just switch them out. I think I'm going to have to give up on that because it takes too long. <laughs> I don't know why I like doing it, for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, that's where the bowsprit's going to be. It's just, uh, it's just spruce slabs going up right on the side right here for this one. We're going to have an upside down uh, stair 
dark oak stair. And we're pointing outwards. That's just going to be on there. We're also going to need to grab a jungle fence. We're going to have a jungle fence piece here on this one. And one on this slab here as well. So there and there like that. And then what we're going to have is an upside down oak stair right on the side of this right here. And then we're going to have a cannon. This time at least we don't have to put down an, an, uh, an anvil. We do need to put down anvils, a barrier block. We don't need to put down a barrier block. So I have these two here. And then we get a dark oak stair just over that bit there like that to the side of it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have another dark oak stair looking towards the front and then one looking towards the back to make a nice little arch like that. And it just goes over this, this bit that we've already kind of framed for it. So same on the other side. So we get that dark oak upside down stair and then another one as well like that. Then with our uh, slabs, we're going to grab our yeah, dark oak slabs. Uh, right in the middle of this one, we're actually going to have this one on the upper slab. Then we're going to have these on normals. And this one is going to go over the cannon. So it just goes over the cannon like that to finish that little bit up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have slabs going across this here like that. And this is going to go all the way across to the next cannon. So just over here, like this, and over to that cannon there, like that. So then we've got this kind of like smooth way going up, smooth protection. Um, and also this is where these stairs come in. So these stairs are to make it look like, almost like these, so upside down arches. And it, it gives it kind of like quite a smooth look, I think. Um, it's, I don't know, maybe that's just me. But at least that is it, guys, for the front part. So finish up the back. And then for the back, what we're going to do is we're going to put down a dark oak plank on either of these. Dark oak stair facing towards the front like that. Then we're going to have an upper dark oak slab like this. Put a dark oak slab on top of that block that we had there. We're now going to have an upside down dark oak stair on these bits. It's really difficult to... <laughs> to get all these blocks in upside down dark oak stair there we go so they're both facing in like that we're then gonna have you guessed it guys an anvil the survival players are just like you've got to be kidding me not any more iron there can't be any more iron in this build if, if you're gonna ignore the cannons and just go with like blackstone or something put one at the end you've, you've got to do it it's just it seems to be my signature i seem to put it on like every build <laughs> i do these days but there we go you can plonk that on at the back um, we're then going to have a spruce trapdoor on this one, and then we're going to bring that spruce trapdoor out and uh, kind of like above by one. And then we can place a lantern on it. Hey, look at that. It looks so good. It looks just cool, doesn't it? Right. So, you know, it's not just going to be that because that'd be really empty. Of course, we've got loads of other stuff to do. So the first one is grab your dark oak slab, and that's going to be on top of the last cannon. And we're going to drag that across uh, onto here. Right over to that one actually. Then we're going to have an upside down stair, another upside down stair like that. So that completes this little bit here. And you can see the kind of detailing that I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to make it look interesting, really. Same with this as well. So you get slabs going over onto that piece. And then this one right here gets your upside down stair. And that's the pain in the butt one. There we go, like that. So that's all cool. We're then also going to have another upside down stair, this time just on this piece here. So this is where we start moving inwards, like that. Then we have one going out, uh, sorry not out, towards the front, should I say. Guess what, you get another cannon. This is a 22 gun frigate, and the reason it's 22 guns is because I put 22 guns on it, uh, and I really wanted it to actually be a sick freight. And because of Minecraft and the, the gap that you need to have, I have to put cannons everywhere pretty much. So, it's just how it is. Anyway, we're also going to have just two normal stairs here. So, just going in like that, on the side of that cannon. Just like that there. Um, above this, by the way, we are actually going to have upside down stair. And another upside down stair. So, it's a little bit different. I tried to make this one really kind of like high high backed, I think is probably... I don't know what, what I'd say it is, because it's a lot higher than normal. Normally, I just have this bit just down here. Um, I just wanted to do something a bit different, honestly. So, you know, never be afraid of doing stuff different just because you fancy doing it that way. Um, and then over the cannon, we're going to have the slabs. So just go over by one. So you get to that point. So just there and there. 
And there we go, look at that. I love the hole on this one, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, so, at least that's now all completed. So we can put in the masts and all of that from now on. So, starting with the front mast, what we're going to do is just off the front here, you might have more blocks on this one, because I've, uh, I might have made a mistake and I've had to redo this bit, <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to be counting from here anyway, we're going to have 15 of these going up slab wise, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, whoops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then on your 15th one, just have one slab, don't have anything on top of it. Now what we're going to do is, these are where we've actually got full blocks, or what we can place full blocks on top of. Um, we're actually going to go to the next one that you can do, which is this block here, and grab a dark oak slab. And then on this one, we're going to have a lower dark oak slab here. We're going to go out to the side, and then go out with three dark oak slabs. So same here, one, then one, two, three, like that. And I've just got that block in there just as a kind of guide piece, uh, more than anything else. But that is going to be this nice front sail thing here that we've got. Yeah, that's the technical term. Right, so anyway, what we're going to do now is get onto this front mast here. So we'll go up with six blocks of your stripped spruce wood. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then going to need a composter, so place one on top. Then we're going to have two, one, two, then two composters. I'm going to go forwards with those two composters as well, so they just go onto the front there. It looks like rope being tied around it, um, which you guys told me about, which is great. Uh, grab a spruce trapdoor and whack that on the one that's closest to the back of the ship, like that. Then on the frontmost one, we're going to go up with three blocks, one, two, and three. Then we're going to have a composter, then four blocks, one, two, three, and four. Then a composter, then two blocks, one, two. Then what we're going to do is, that's one, two, then we're going to have, top of this, two blocks of granite uh, wool, one, two, and then we're going to have, on top of this, a block that I have not got, which is a spruce fence, so we're going to have two of those, one, two, like that. Then right in the front, what we're going to do is go down from here, we're going to have uh, oak, oak fence, right from this one here, we go down, and then out, and we're just going to go down, and then out, and we do this all the way down until we get to the front of the ship, like this. And just keep going until we'll eventually hit into that little area that we made earlier, like that. Haha, -ha, excellent. That's what we want. Right, so next, grab yourself a barrel. And where we've actually got the first uh, one of these composters, we're going to place a barrel going sideways. Uh, you might have to sneak and fly at the same time. If you do that, you'll stay in place, and also it won't uh, open up. Oh, to be fair, actually, you can just place it against it anyway, because composter isn't a barrel. Never mind, ignore me completely. Um, yeah, just put a barrel right, <laughs> right on the side, like that. Now you have to do your fly and sneak, otherwise you'll just be opening up the inventory of it. Put two blocks on either side of this. On two. Then with this side, we're going to have the sails uh, going angled this way. It's just the way I always do them. I don't know why, um, but we've done it with that. Just match whatever that one is. You can do it the other way around. It doesn't matter at all, but you'll have four going out. There you go. One, two, three, and four, just like that. So next, we've got this one right here, and we're just going to have another barrel going sideways and add another one on each of these. And this is just going to have three going out. One, two, three, like that. And one, two, and three, like that. Then, guess what? This one right here, put a barrel on, add another one, and we're going to three as well. Two, three. So it's exactly the same. One on there, one, two, three, like that. Nice and simple, really. Not too bad. Right. So, if we get on to the next bit of this, we're going to need some spruce stairs. Um, so right on this kind of double bit here that we've got here, we're going to put a uh, spruce stair upside down on the front of that one. Then we're going to have one on the side, and then we're going to have one on the back right here, wrapping around. So one there, and one there, like that. This is all part of the kind of like crow's nest uh, type of stuff. Then right at the top, what we're going to do is we're going to have one here, one here, and then we're going to have a spruce slab at the back, like that. 
So you can make it where you can go up it. Um, what you'll find with this one in particular is, because we've got a lot of the sails going across um, or between each of the masts, um, that creates issues. But you can always, for example, like here, if you want a ladder going all the way up it, you can just then move this to around here. Uh, no one will really be able to tell. Um, so you can do that if you want to and, and make your way up and obviously the sails hitting into it. You can do the same with that, just, just ignore it or move it. Um, either way you can do do those kind of bits. Uh, it's not, not a problem. Right, let's get on to the next mast. And now for the main mast. So what we're going to do is, because we've already plonked down where it is, which is great, uh, we're going to have seven blocks going on top of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One composter on top of this. Then four blocks, one, two, three, and four. Then we have two composters. Then we're gonna go forwards with the two composters again. And we're gonna switch over to our spruce trapdoor to plonk plank that on the back piece, or the bit that's most nearest the back. Uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one block, then a composter. Then we're gonna have six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then a composter, then two blocks, then two blocks of our granite wall and two blocks of your spruce fence. Switch over to oak fence and uh, right on this block here, we're going to go towards the front, we're going to join up these two masts and have three lots of your uh, fence. Then we're going to go down to three and we're just going to alternate this. We're just going to have this, well not really alternate this, we're just going to continue this pattern on. Definitely not alternate it. <laughs> you know what I mean though, two and three. It should go just over that. If it goes over that uh, little slab that we put in last time, spot on. Perfect. So that's good. Right. So we're going to need um, a barrel. And just again, our first uh, kind of place where we've got the composter, we're going to place a barrel on its side. This one is going to have one block on either side. And then we're going to have a three. One, two, three. And then another three. And then a two. So this is a really big mast. So on the same other side, so one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a two. Like that, really big. Next one's this one here, this singular one here, which you're probably thinking, why have you got one block then that? Now it makes sense. Um, but that's what we're going to have there. Plonk on your barrel again. Add two to each side of this to make it a five. Like that. And then we're going to have another five. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. Um, this is done differently because uh, it, it makes the... I think it makes the sail look more interesting where you've got a big one like this and you've got another one there and you've got another one there. Um, it just breaks up the kind of patterns that you can go with um, and it generally makes this one a bit smoother than that one but in this case I've actually made that one smoother than that one somehow. So never mind. Um, and then our last one here, again barrel on the side, add one to each side and then we're going to have a three and then a two. So gonna have a three, two, three, and a two. One, two, like that. Cool. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, we'll do the crow's nest really quickly. So we've got, there's two on this one. I'll have to have a look at the other one in a second because I'll, I'll forget it easily. Uh, but this one is going to be above the main mast or above the main uh, sail, I guess. Uh, it's going to be on the, the sides of this one. Also on the back. And then we're going to have a slab on each side. So it's just wrapping around here like this and also on the front just going to have a upside down uh, spruce stair like that and then the next one I think is below it yeah it is so it's below it that's the one so it's below this one uh, I'm gonna have a stair here wrap this one around here so stair there wrap it around there and we're just gonna have a slab on the back uh, like that. I don't think there's anything on the front of this one no there isn't not at all so that's all good I do while I'm here because we might as well get it done. Uh, need to have a quick look at this. So this one is underneath the that one. So one, two, and then freeze. And then this one is on it with one, two, that, then load of freeze. That's cool. So it'll just save me a little bit of time. Uh, so right here, next one down, gonna have underneath this one, one, two, then under, two, and three, under, two, three, under, two, and three, one, two, three, and then it should just connect in. And with this one, I've already forgotten. Was it on it? It was on it. Right, okay. Okay, good thing I check. So on it, one, two, and then one, two, three. Same there, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, 
and three like that and it will all connect in perfectly cool so one more to do for the part of the frame of it um, and yeah I'll keep on going on and for the back mast what we're gonna do is have uh, one composter then we're gonna have six blocks one two three four five and six two composters and then go forwards with two again and just like before if you I'll grab a uh, spruce trapdoor and put that on top of that one there. Then we're going to have five blocks. One, two, three, four, and five. Five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And with a composter again on top of that one. Then we're going to have one block. Then what we're going to do is have two walls and then two spruce fence. So we can join these two together. So if we go to this block right here we're gonna go out and then up and out so we've got these two going out then up two and then these are just gonna be completely diagonal from here like that and that should just be right underneath that slab like that that's all looking good and if you grab yourself a barrel what we're gonna do is right at the top here we're gonna have a barrel going sideways then you have one block on either side of that and then we can have three blocks going out, one, two, and three like that. So just for this top piece, one, two, and three like that. Then with, I think I did this in spruce slabs. Yes, I did. So I thought I might as well check. Um, above here, we're going to go up by two blocks. So you've got one, two. And this is the one that you're going to have here on an upper slab. It's placed on just right on there. Go two forwards and then one back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go out at diagonal. So out one block. And up by one slab, we're gonna get number four. Then we're gonna do the same again. So one, two, three, and four, just like that. Then with your spruce uh, stairs, what we're gonna do, it's gonna be one above these two that we've got here. So this block here, put in a spruce stair. We're gonna go forwards by two. So we've got one, and then another one as well. Two, so it's forwards two. And this is gonna be five in total. So we've got another two on the back as well. like that. Then we're going to go out to the side. So out by one block and also up. And we're going to do a set of five. So we've got one, two, two, three, four, and then five like that. Let's get rid of these guide blocks that we've got in there. Like that. So that's what you'll get for that bit. So if we just put this little bit in here, so we've got three, then a four, and over again. It's just about to look at this beforehand, but it's fine. So one, two, three, and then we're going to go out. One, two, three, four, and this is where I think we go out to the side. Yeah, we do. Then one, two, three, four. That's fine. Cool. So just from here, add an extra one on, then add another three underneath it. Then we go back and then add those and that's not quite right and that is because I need to redo this little bit here so this one this four that we've got here go back and then go to the side we get one two three on that one then backwards then one two and three sorry about that guys but that's what you get there so just to recap on that one three going down one back four going down then you go one back then you go to the kind of um, towards the right side of the ship, and then you go down with four, then back, then four, like that. That will complete up that bit. So if we put on the crow's nest, we'll just go to one, uh, actually two blocks underneath the top mast. So down to here, going to put in a under, uh, upside down spruce stair. On the back, we're going to put a upside down spruce stair and on the side as well. Then with a spruce slab, we're going to have that on the corners. And also on the front as well like that so last little bit for this one which I think is on or not quite on uh, behind behind the uh, the actual main mast we got there so that's what we'll go for for that one so where we've got this here we just go one two then one two three and this is with oak fence and one two it's a really really small little bit of um, it connecting up like 
that. But that is it, at least for the main masts part of it. And now for the shrouds, what we're going to do is we're going to do this in little bits of sections, um, but we'll do the front first. So grab yourself some birch fence. And what we're going to do is where we've got this uh, spruce slab right on the front, that is where we're going to have three lots of fence just starting off. Uh, ideally, you'd also have a block there, but because uh, I wanted this to look more rounded as a whole, I decided to go with dark oak on that side. So on the front part, this is going to be four high, so an extra three uh, onto it. Same with the middle one as well. And the back one is just three high, so just add two on top of it like that. Behind this, we're just going to do a whole strip of fences going across the back there. Then with these back two right here, this is where we're going to build up a little bit more. Put up one more on top of that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have one on top of this one here, not that there. Try that again. One on top of this one right here. And then behind this, I'm just going to join this onto the back of that one. Go to the side as well. Also going to join that underneath and going across to the side like that. So we get it. what I'm trying to do is make it look like there's a set of two going diagonally. That's the idea of it anyway. Uh, we're going to build this up another two as well. So we get two there. Then we just build these up until we hit into this bit right there. Then in front of or on top of the mast, we're also going to do the same as well. We build these going up. So on top of this, we're just going to put some of those uh, going all the way. The fence pieces going all the way around it. Apart from, of course, this one where we've got the uh, the uh, trapdoor. That's fine. And this is just going to be free high with twos like that. Then this is just going to be singles going up until the next level. So might as well do these two sides because it's very, very simple. Do them together like that. So we're now going to have to do it on the other side, which is always more, more difficult, or at least I find it more difficult. But uh, yeah, we'll get there. So at least you've got the other one for reference. So on top of where we've got that spruce spruce fence, bring those across like that. Uh, we're going to build this up. Let's build it all up to three high first. Then the front two are going to be four high. Behind this, right on the bottom part, we're just going to go and join up all of those ones there. With the front two, double those up. Then build that one up again like that. Then what we're going to do is, let me have a look. Sorry, it gets really complicated. So the frontmost one has got one more. Uh, but what we also do is just behind this, we're going to have one behind it here and then join that in to the main middle part of it. Build that up again and then build it up again. And then we're going to have a single going all the way up to there. Now let's have a look at that and see if that matches. It looks like it does, which is very good. Um, but that's it for the front one. So let's go on to the other two. And for the main mast, what we're going to do is where we've got these two. This is where we're going to start with our with our birch fence. We're going to have two just on top of that. We're then going to have three of them, including one going over the cannon. One, two, and three, like that. Then we're going to have one more on top of where the cannon is. And then these two here, we're just going to have two on top of that. So it just sits on top of everything. I'm trying to do it all relatively from the same angle, but just, yeah, two behind that. We're then going to have three going across here. One two and three like that so it then starts to join up so that's good we're going to have an extra set of three on top one two and three then with the ones that are the front most towards the ship we're going to have another two just on those leaving the last one here with this last one though we will join around the back and then join it to the middle then what we're going to do is behind these two the ones that are close to the front we're going to have two fences then we're going to just build that up on top, and again, so you get two, two there, like that. Then behind it, join those two, and I just have these two here going until you get to the top. So you get it to that point there, like that. Then for this part here, put fences all over it, like that. Then what we're going to do is right on this back one here this is actually going to be six high in total so you have one two three four five and six and actually no that's wrong get rid of that it's actually here there's six so one two three four five and six we've actually got one in the front of this one which will be going up to the same point 
And then just this one goes all the way to the top here. That confused me. <laughs> but there we go. It's because it's on top of on top of the actual uh, mast. It's the same on the other side as well. So right on this middle one, this is six high. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then this one goes all the way to the top. If we can get there. There we go. Like that. I just realized as well. Also need to put on for these bits. Uh, put in couple extra bits of fence as well. There you go. So if we now do the, the bottom part of this one, so we'll do the try and do it the same as we did before. So just where we've got these two here, put on two bits of fence. Then we have three fences, one going over the cannon that we've got. Now with the cannon we put an extra one on top and then also have that going back. And for these ones we've got two bits of fence going on top of those there. Then we'll just connect these up over the top, just like that. And then, because I am going to have to have a look on the back of these, so we've got three there, get another three on top. So another three on top of that. There we go. And then what we'll do is the frontmost two have got an extra fence on top. The back one right here, this goes back and to the side. And then we're going to build two behind this one here. We're going to have two on top of these two. So one, two, one, two, just like that. And then this goes back again. And then that goes until it goes to the top. Well, not really the top, until it joins up with that. And I think I actually got it right, surprisingly. It doesn't matter if you if this isn't perfect, by the way, guys, at all. It really doesn't matter. No one will notice. Um, in fact, it'll look probably more natural because it's not going to be perfect on both sides for any ship. Uh, it just happens that that's kind of the way that we do them. <laughs> right, so let's do the last one. The last one's a little bit more difficult because of this um, the sail that we've got here, which is actually called a spanker. Um, that one is, it kind of cuts through it. So we might have to get rid of it as we do the sail, but if you're doing the sail tied up, then it doesn't really matter, but last one. So just before we get onto the last set of shrouds, <laughs> tiny little thing to add in which is grab yourself some spruce stairs, and I forgot to put the stairs on these two cannons. I just noticed it as I was uh, flying around. Right, so for the final bits of the shrouds, again, you're going to grab your birch fence, and we've got these two pieces right here. So put on your fence on top of those two. This is actually going to be four high for this section, so we've got one, two, three, and four, like that. And you're going to join them onto the back. And this back piece is going to be free high. So um, actually, no, add another free uh, two onto it. It'd probably be easier to, to say that. Maybe not, especially if I delete stuff as well. So just add an extra two onto those two like that. So you've got an extra two on there. The one that's facing the front, you're going to add an extra one on that one. Not down there. One on that one <laughs> like that. Then behind, you're just going to join these two up like that. And then we're actually going to go from this one here forwards as well. So you get two going this way. So again, moving sideways uh, and add an extra two on top of that. And one more, actually. So it's a total of four high and uh, like that. Then go up with just two to join up the top piece there. And then we can just put in our fences on top of this bit as well. Get all of that done. And then we do the same on the other side. So it's not too bad this one. I think this one's probably the easiest. So these two here, uh, this is going to be four high. So add an extra three on top. Like that. Add in a bit behind it. This is the one that you'll probably have to cut out. Uh, we'll have a look at it a little bit later on. And then we're going to add in an extra two on top of these. One, two, one, two. Then what we do, I want to have a look, is, oh, we just connect in two behind it. And this one, the one that's closest to the front, that one just has one on top of there. Then we have two, but these are coming forwards this time. So one in there, one there. This will go up and actually it gets stuck anyway. Uh, and then we just add an extra two on there as if it was, wasn't was blocked in. And then that at least is it for the shrouds. So the good news is we've only got the sails left. Unfortunately, the sails do take quite a long time, um, but there's two ways, of course, doing them. One being tied up and one being the full sails. So we'll do the tied up version first, or, or I'll kind of do them, to be fair, 
both together, uh, it's not too bad to do. So let's get on to that. So for the sales, um, we're going to do these in sections. We'll do like the box sales as one, and we'll do the other type of sales as another one. Uh, but first, I noticed, just in case you haven't caught this, but we've got some, uh, got some fences missing. So just on the front mast, adding an extra couple fences until you hit the main mast. That's it for that bit. Um, but yeah, there's two different ways you can do the sales. You can either do them tied up, or you can do them where they're fully uh, kind of out. So fully in the wind. Depends on what you're... What you're really doing, obviously, if you've got it at port or coming into port, you'll want to make it look like it hasn't got as much sail because it's not trying to go full speed. Um, but if if you have got it out at sea, you probably want all the sails down. So uh, it's nice and easy to be able to do this. There is a technique to it, and I'll show you it. And, it, and pretty much it's the same for tying them up as it as well as letting them down. So all you do is you come forwards and below, so like this. Just do this with one block going forwards off of it. There you go, like that. Now for the tied up version, I like to add in a bit of extra in the middle piece here, something like that. That's a really basic one. Um, but you can also, you know, push block blocks back uh, or have them forwards or do something like this if you wanted to. Uh, or like that, you know, you play around with different ways of uh, doing things and you'll get a kind of pattern that you like or that you like the look of. And you can just do that on, on all of them. Um, there's not really too much to say about the doing the sails up. All I try to do is try and make it look like it's been tied around the edges. It's a bit droopier in the middle. Uh, that seems to look quite good. So there we go. But uh, for the full kind of sailed version of it, it's pretty much exactly the same. We're going to come forwards like this. One, we're then going to come forwards again. So this is down and forwards. And this one we're going to do uh, two. And the numbers of these uh, are totally random. It depends on what it looks like. And then what we'll do, because this one's quite small, I don't know if I go out again or not. I kind of went back in, I think, with this one. So I think I'm going to do the same. Uh, so then I'm going to go in, I'm going to have two going down, actually, as so, well. Uh, obviously, I can't do it on all of them. That's fine. You just skip over the bits you can't do. And then that'll be it. So that's your, like, really, really square sale. This is how it all starts, because it's organic. Um, we can then tweak it. So if you haven't done these before, you can then start pushing blocks in and out like this. So we've got a really big, nice square bit there. We can knock these in here and also bring this around here. Push that one around there. Uh, cut out a little bit for the middle here. Don't need to do it on the bottom because it's already naturally happened for us. So we can have this going back here. And then we'll have an extra block going here. It's all because it's organics. What you're trying to do is you're trying to shape the sail. So it looks like it's been pushed out by the wind. So you might do something like this. So you can see how we went from that very basic shape to something that looks a lot better. Do the same here and push that one back. And same down here, we're just adding in little bits. And you can tie off these, these bits as well, these bits that are on the edges. You can tie them off if you want to. Uh, but as you can see, that's that's the kind of idea of it. So you go from that very basic square and you just you just play around with it until you think it looks okay. And remember, you can always reset and go back to that kind of like very square rigged and then give it another go. Uh, and you can just practice at it. Let's do the, the one that's right on the front. Uh, this one I got to look really cool. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure if I'll be able to do that. <laughs> so I know I played around with it for quite a little bit of time. Uh, but I just did it, I think, underneath this time. I think I started with and then went out from there. So same kind of design. Like this. But somehow made it look cooler. I might have done double up on this one. And I never do them the, the sails the same on any ship. They're always using this this technique, uh, which is really good because it gives you a really kind of I don't know personalised organic kind of look. But uh, yeah, it's quite nice. So I'll push these in here. We're going to knock out perhaps we'll knock out those two. Did I even do that on that one? Not really. I actually left it and actually had it where it's almost behind. So we might actually do that, because that does look good, doesn't it? So we'll do that. Put it on these two sides like that. We'll go out, maybe we'll have another one here. Do something like that. Knock this one in and have this one. This one knocked down. And have these across here. And I'm also going to do the same here as well. We have this one going back. 
trying it there. Not too sure about it, but um, for the time being, it'll do. I have one like that. Yeah, so I did not get it anywhere near as good. It's a lot. My, this one's a lot chunkier than that one. So that one's a lot thinner. I've actually only got two blocks underneath that one. Then cut that out. Whereas this one, I've gone three blocks down. Um, so I could, you know, make it a lot thinner. I'll have it something like that. That looks good too. So the next one, we'll get on to it. We'll do this one here. Again, it's all to do with just putting a couple of blocks in front. Following that square pattern, because your um, sails or the, yeah, the actual mast themselves are turned sideways, uh, and also the, the sail has got this angle where it goes, you know, that's the straight part, then it moves forwards as well. Both of these two make the organics a little bit easier because you've, you're already in a better place. If you do it square rigged, um, it's a lot more difficult, I find anyway. If you have a completely square mast, um, it, it just doesn't quite look right, so this helps. So I'm going to go out again two this time All right, give this a go so build this around the back and then we'll come in now so because of that it going forwards you'll never make it like meet up with this and you don't really want it to uh, you could do if you wanted to do something like that but it just won't look right so instead we'll have something like this where we've got ones going around it and again it shouldn't look perfect so you might get something like that. So we've got one, two, two, and then one, one going back in like that. So we can cut out these bits at the top. We can cut out the bits at the bottom. There we go, wider at the bottom. And then we can just look at getting rid of these square bits. So where you get really kind of right angle type stuff, that's where you want to break it up. You really do. And do something like that. And then that just instantly it looks better. I don't know why. It just does. <laughs> so I think it just makes it look more natural. So knocking these, I could even do one pushed back there, push this one back, have that one there, go to this block and go from there. Like that, there we go. Cool. And there we go, push those ones back as well. So the only thing I might do tweak-wise is push that one back. And maybe even do the same here as well. There we go. So that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Same again on the next one. So these are all the same. Uh, I'll still walk you guys through it. Just in case, you know, you're, you're looking at it going, hmm, I don't know how to do this one. Or what should my base shape, to be, shape be? That's not a problem. I'll talk you guys through what I'm doing it. But I can tell you that I'm making it up as I go along. And that's the easiest way to do it. It's the only way I've, I've found out doing it. So I'm going to go back with one for this one, which seems to be the best. There we go, something like that. So I got one, two, one for that one. Uh, to be fair, that, that fits pretty well. Um, so I might just knock out those three, trying to take out all the uh, fence. Oh, that is one thing. No, we'll do that in a sec, actually. We'll do it after I've finished. <laughs> just think, I was just thinking, ah, yeah, yeah, I need to do something. But it doesn't really matter. Right, so just, yeah, pushing this one out as well. Uh, maybe doing... Pushing that one back into there. Cutting out three blocks for this one. Uh, knock that one back there. And... Let's push that one back. There we go, that's good. Right, cool. And then when you're done with it, that's what I was just about to say. Grab yourself some oak fence, and you can put in oak fence behind it, so it looks like it's being connected onto it. And that works quite well. Um, you could have it where you've even got it in the middle as well, uh, so that it's showing. It's up to you. What, whatever you prefer, really. So this one, I didn't do any of that. Um, this one, maybe I will. It, it doesn't really matter, and also get onto those ones as well. Um, and you just go in behind the blocks here, or just underneath the blocks. And connect it all in. I'll just make it feel a little bit more connected. You could also use fence gates as well and have the fence gates running across it. Um, it's totally up to you, really, if you want it to actually connect or or not, really. That's, that's the thing. Right, we're going to go uh, top down this time to mix it up a little bit. So, same thing. Always forwards with one. Always forwards with one. Um, then after that, I usually do a two, as you probably probably started to notice. Um, and then I'll go out from there. I don't wouldn't usually go 
like one, two, uh, three blocks out, for example. I'd always try and make it a little bit less sharp. Turn three, three blocks down. I'd rather it kind of goes out. Then you have a big bit of sail, which is stuck out. And then go back in. So we'll go with two here, I think. See what this looks like. Might be a little bit too much. And then go back with one. Hmm. Yeah, so if that doesn't look quite right. I don't know what I did here, but I don't think I did that. So even though I was saying I won't go with a, with a free, I'm going to go with a free for this one, but I'll end up softening it on a lot of the other bits when we do it. So there we go. And then we'll have back in with one. Just I just think for this one, it needs something like that. No, it doesn't. I don't like that at all. Right, so what can we do here? So I do think we need to go with that too. Even though it comes down quite a bit, uh, and it's going to be quite far away, I think it looks better overall. But we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's just, to me, it looked like it was sticking out just a little bit too much. And wasn't really coming back in, but that's fine. We'll get it sorted. Yeah, because it's not that far away. It just looks a little bit like it's got a bit of a gap, that's all. Three blocks, three blocks, two blocks. Ah, it's because of this five. I just realized it's the mast behind it. That's the reason why, because we've got uh, three sets of five and those are freeze so it's it's further out at this point than it is at that point so i'd started on this side i wouldn't have thought it looked odd <laughs> so there we go don't get caught out by the, the sales that i've told, told you guys to do so i'm not gonna five on the bottom there um i will push this one out here maybe i'm gonna go to that and then one there uh we'll go there and there and this one's gonna go back And the same up here, we'll go over. And here we're going to push some of these ones back, I think. It's like there. Yeah, that looks good. And the same around here as well. We'll go back with those ones. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's push that on there. And push this one in. And that one in. Job done. There we go, that doesn't look too bad at all. So the next one. The one that caught me out with the top one, because I decided to do it top down. It's typical, isn't it? Um, there you go, get that. There we go for two. And we can go for a two again. And then we'll start moving back inwards. So we might actually have... We'll go have one one for this bit. So we've got one, two, two, one, one. Uh, now with this, right, so there's, there's two different ways you can do it. Um, you can either cut out, you know, keep your uh, oak fence going all the way through and cut out your sail. Or you can do the other way around where you keep the sail and get rid of the oak fence. Up to you. Um, I tend to, when I'm doing just this square part of it, just leave, just leave those blocks, uh, leave the fences in there and see if I can make the sail work around what I've already got, the frame that I've already got, so that it looks kind of all connected up. Um, but at the same time, when you get like things like this back one here, we've got the shrouds. You want to take, you want to have the sail looking better. So as it breaks up your sail and it looks really odd. Um, so yeah, it, it depends. Like most things, it depends on what it looks like and if you're happy with it. There we go. So we've got one, two, two, one, one for that pattern. Uh, we're going to cut out the nice top bit here. So as you can see, I've just gone with four blocks. Why not? Uh, and then here we can see what we do with that block there. If we need to change anything or if we just keep it as is. Add this one forwards. And if we do that, we need to do some other stuff around here. Like that. But uh, I'm going to cut out a big five there. I'm actually going to end up pushing this back, I think. I just don't like the look of it. Uh, maybe do this here. Um, right, put that 
that one down there, maybe. Yep, yeah, right. And then push this one back here. And at the top, just connect it up like that. That one's a nice and easy one. Right, there we go. So quite a few changes on that bit that I just placed down, but it's all to try and just shape it a little bit better. And then we get around to these ones, we'll do the same kind of things. Yeah, put one there and then go back to there and just need to connect this up. So this one's going to have a separate one. Kind of all looks connected anyway, but it's not. <laughs> there we go. Right, um, I need to go out with that one, I think. Just to break it up, always it just looks like it's really strange and going back straight and things. So there we go. Get something like that and, and maybe even there. And put one there to break it up. I don't like that at all. Something about it that just doesn't look right. Like this one doesn't either, but it's fine. It'll do. No one's going to notice. There we go. Cool. Right. So the biggest one now. So I have one, two, and then maybe a three. Yeah, and then we'll go one. That going back. There we go. So one, two, three, one. And we might do when when it's overhanging on the sides of the ship. So we might do another one going in. Just to finish it up. Which will be from this one. So we'll see what it looks like. So one there. And then do the same on these two. So we've just got twos on the sides. So let's finish this up. So two there and a three. Then we go in with one and then in with another one. Yeah, that looks good. That's what we want. So quite happy with that. Let's continue this on the other side. So it does take quite a long time, the sails. They are the usually take the longest period of time. Um, because there's quite a lot of blocks that you're placing and also you're doing a lot of editing. Um, so it's not just something that you can just plonk down straight away. Instead, you'll have to play around with it. And you have to try to see if it makes it look good. So take yourself a little bit of time, but once it's done, it's done. There we go, so we've got those there, and we'll knock this one in with one. And then for these two side bits, the last two bits, we'll also kick these in with one as well. Like that, I think. Yeah. Right, so at the top, I'm going to cut a big five on this and then underneath here I want this quite a lot bigger so I'm gonna go uh, almost right the way to the side and maybe it depends so sometimes what I'll do I, I don't think I've done it on this one uh, sometimes I'll cut out even more so that you get like more headspace so when you're like looking around and walking around it, it's fine but um, this one I haven't done that I think it's because this, this, you know, it's still, well, although it's a sick rate and it has got quite a lot of guns on it, and it does feel quite big. Uh, in reality, it's not that big compared to some of the, well, really big ships, like second rates and first rates uh, and things like that. So because of that, it doesn't quite have enough space for it. There we go. Do some of this stuff. Just soften in all of these out. Like this. The same as on these ones. Same, same on these ones as well. Take out some of the random blocks that I've been placing. Right, so here we go. Knock out these ones. Get this to the side here, and get this one down. And this is where you might go over that line, but in this case, I'm right on it for that side, which is good. Done a kind of similar thing to first time that I made it, the original model. So we're going to get all this, uh, then leave that for the time being, which might just click this one back and this one back instead. There we go. Something like that will do. 
Looks okay on that side. I just need something else. Probably an extra block there, I think. Yeah. Sometimes it's just the simple little blocks. Uh, and then this side, of course, looks really square and horrible. So we can fix that as well. Have this around the back here. Like that. And maybe we'll add in an extra block. Somewhere. I don't know where, though. Maybe there. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I, didn't need, I knew I needed one somewhere. I just didn't know, didn't know at all where. So we go get these here, and then just wipe that into there. That looks pretty good too. So anything I might do is move that block there, and maybe even move that block. And that looks a lot better. There we go. So that's good. One last one for the square rigged stuff. So we've already done quite a lot, um, quite a lot indeed. This is the last little one. Maybe we'll go with twos this time. And maybe we'll just go in from here, I think. Because it, it only needs to be a really small one. Um, it looks like I did a, a slightly big one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six in total. So one, two, three. I guess I must have gone in with two as well. Perhaps. So I'll go with that. Why not? similar. Ignore that one in the middle there because as we know we'll cut out a nice chunk on the top and also on the bottom. There we go. So three blocks there, at least three blocks there, fixes that. <laughs> so there we go and then we can start shaping down here as well. Uh, push this one back and have that one going up to there maybe and do something here where we just go out Ooh, I don't know if I like that. There we go. Do that instead. Have that one going back and go out and up here. Go back with a couple. I'm pretty much there, I think, with this one. Not liking how this has turned out over here, though, this bit. Really don't like how that's turned out. I'm going to push that one in. That'll make that look a little bit better. And that one as well. Right. There we go. So that is it, at least for all of the square rigged stuff. Um, so we'll probably get onto the jib and whatever these sails are called. They're in between, and then we can get onto the last one as well. So, final set of sails. What we'll do is starting with the jib, which is this front one. You can do multiple jibs, um, which is where you have these like layered with each other. I just found this ship was a little bit too small for that. Um, so just start with your kind of blocks here so this is if you are, if you are going to tie up you can even just you know remove these completely um, or you can have them you know going all the way down like this and then just join these up with a couple of blocks if you're gonna do this tied up you could then also either have you know a couple of these in the middle for example pushed back like that and then get rid of these on the sides that's one way that you could do it uh, that looks terrible but um <laughs> it's one way you can do it um you know you just try and make it look like it's been tied again uh, I know I've done it in, in other videos as well, uh, like my recent brig, uh, I think a 12 gun brig, I think has that in there. Um, bring it forwards for the next part of it anyway, right here. And notice that we go pretty much diagonal for most of this, and then we start to break it up at the end. Um, it just, it seems to work out that way. So you might like leave that one here, so we might end up having a bit of a cut in like this. Um, and we can bring that one down. I'm gonna go out again. And we'll go out once more, maybe. I don't know. We'll have a look at this. That going down there. And then we'll start bringing it in, I think. Like this. And we'll go to... The... Hmm. Well, we'll go from here. I think it's probably there. Then bring that to there. And then bring this one in. And down. So I'm trying the minute to tie it. So I need to do some tweaks to make this look good. So we got to there. We're going to push that one in. We're going to push that one in the back there and one underneath. And probably get rid of that one. And we could even push this one back. So I'm trying to make it catch. Look, look like it's been all caught. Uh, should I say, 
if the wind has caught it. Push that one back to there. That looks, that looks better. So we've got this kind of bit going in here, this kind of curve going on. We've got a similar kind of kind of thing going up there, but not quite. So it goes down to here. And if we did that, we would knock out those ones as well. So you get more of this. I think it's because there's a big square bit right here, actually. I think that's the problem. Rather than it being these ones that I was knocking out down the bottom. Yes, yeah, so that looks better. So yeah, you try and layer it in, then try and make a kind of like section kicked out. This one, I didn't go out as far, that's what I did. So I think that's that's going out four times, and I've got a bigger section here. But then again, still tying it back to basically the same point. I think it's just slightly different on this one. So this one goes one, two, three, four, and then five. So I just had this layer. Um, so you could do either way, either way it works. So it's not a problem. Right, for these mid ones, because we've got some sails that you can put in. Um, I only put in these two, but you could also put in one right down here if you wanted to. I just didn't see much point doing it. They're pretty easy, they're pretty simple, so you just put in your blocks. Um, if you are doing this type tied up, just skip this completely, I would. I wouldn't bother having these, they'd probably uh, take them down completely, I reckon, uh, rather than anything else. So I have this going in, connected in like this. Let's go forwards and we do a similar kind of thing where we just sneak it around. Let's try not to touch too much of these sails. This is where they get a little bit meh, I think. Don't they look the best, but it's fine. So we go down to there. Um, this one we can actually go down quite a bit, so we'll go out again. To maybe there. I'll make this one a bit chunkier as well. Like this. Knock that one back there, and we'll do the same there actually. Now I'm putting a couple blocks there, and now we can push it back. Like that. And then one. One. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to fly through and I couldn't because of the fences. So I was really trying to fly through then and then I'm just going to connect this up here. That's what I was trying to say uh, before I couldn't. There we go. So I think add an extra one there. And then add in one there, there and there. There we go. So that one actually, I think that looks a lot better than this one. It looks very similar but... <laughs> Slightly different, so I think it looks better. Um, so there we go, get that. That's always good. Do the same here as well. Join it up. This one's smaller, so it won't go out as much and do as much stuff. Um, so there we go, put in a couple extra blocks here. Then we'll, we'll put an extra couple there, because we can then pull this one down. Then join it into this bit. Like this. There we go, like that. That looks terrible. Let's sort this one out. It's because it's following the line too much. I think that's the problem. So something like that might do. We could probably push it out a little bit more and use what we've got to uh, yeah. Do something like that. I don't know. Let's have a look at what we did on the other side. Probably completely different. Yeah, pretty much kind of completely different so went out with three lots uh, and then get pushed in quite a bit and then just went and overlapped this one so that's what I did differently I didn't try to make it match on the old one so yeah if you wanted to do that you could do where you know instead of going to here these are all forwards clean underneath as well like this and that's probably why I didn't do one underneath it here as well because I'd used up a lot of blocks or a lot of the space that I had to play with on this bit already. Can we do that? Yeah, it looks okay. I'll do. It's nowhere near as good as that one. You just need more space, I think. Uh, so for the next one, it's all the way down here and we'll just do it in behind this here. Place the block there. I didn't want to do that. And have these in here. And I think this one I just really squished in. It's not going to have a lot of room to work with because of the the masts and things around it. But uh, at least we can do so we can do something. And pull this in behind. Just do something like that. Really simple. Yeah, There's not not a lot we can do with it at all. Right. So for the final final sail. What we'll do is we're just going to put in on this one 
putting blocks behind those. We're probably going to end up having to knock out quite a few of these blocks. That's fine. We'll join it into this one because we've, we've kind of got that one there. Um, so join these in here. Uh, we can sometimes follow this line generally. Um, so if it goes out, especially, we can that kind of helps. So I find it helps. Because then we've got this kind of like line here to then join things back up to. So this is already looking quite good. We'll just get rid of a couple of these. Actually, I'm going to get rid of all of those like that. And yeah, have that there. Um, so this can go to that point. I never like these kind of square, square lines. So we'll try and get this here, perhaps. We're just trying to round this off. And build around it. Okay. There we go, that one could go there then. Okay, good. We'll do some more tweaks to it as well in a second because it's really flat at the minute. But that's kind of given us a bit, well, that's given us something to work with. Because now what we can do is we can then extend, push this out like this. So push that one out. A couple of blocks in there. And then we can do more here as well where we push out further. And this will then start to give it a really nice shape and do even more up here like that do we want to do that or does that just look odd yeah it looks okay so do that get that around to there gives it a little bit more room to play around with as well so we can do something like that there we go that's good so this one's a bit more this one seems easier on this one this i did pretty much quite differently i did uh, more like triangular kind of shapes uh, more right angles. I think this one might look more natural. It's difficult to tell though. I think it's because of this bit here. So it goes to here, and we could can if you if you really wanted to, you know, keep that going in there. It's just as you can see, it just doesn't look right on the on the on the back one. Don't know why. It just doesn't. Uh, we might just do that. Final block. There we go. So guys, there we go. That is it actually. Nice and easy. You can put uh, flags as well on the top if you wanted to. So let's have these going forwards and do something like this, perhaps, or there. Something like that will do. So just get it in the same direction. So you get it blowing that way and just have it drooping down a tiny little bit. It'll look good. So if it's flapping in the wind, do it with loads of different colours and things like that. It'll look good. Um, that is it, though, guys, for the ship itself. So the next bit, I'm just going to show you guys what I've done with the interior of this one. All right, so here we go. So this is where I've plonked mine down in Lordsport. It's actually just off of the uh, Castle Grey Wolf. Um, I've got my render distance right down just to, to make things run faster, but that's the main city. Not too far away from it, really. Not at all. So I'll just talk you guys through what I've done interior-wise or what I've changed on this one for, for this version. Uh, I did put on HMS Path Finder, so that's what I decided to call it. Why not? Um, and the only other tweak that I've done is I've put a... Uh, a nice little rowboat as well onto it as well. So like a life raft or if they go in ashore or things like that. So I just ended up putting that on top of this uh, system here. I think I had to push down the spruce trap door for it. Um, but then put on just a couple bits of fence. Uh, and then just, yeah, stairs, slabs um, in spruce wood is all I went for for that. Uh, on the deck, it's just got stuff in places. Um, I did do this tiny little tweak so that the captain's cabin can have a little bit of light coming through. Um, I think this actually looks really good, this little skylight. Uh, so if you want to steal that, it is just some oak trapdoors. Um, now I did that uh, up so I could put the lantern on it. I could actually hang it. That was that was actually the reason I came up with it. <laughs> so it was for the lantern, but then I was like, actually, no, it looks good. So there's just stuff around. Uh, I've got a little uh, this is the smoker with a uh, polished blackstone wall and also a flower pot on top. That's actually the chimney for the the furnace. So stuff around in general, just not really much to talk about there. If we go down onto the first deck, um, in the front, I put an anvil down with some uh, iron bars. The reason being that is where we've got the anchor. So the anchor would be able to come through here. So that's the idea. That's where that little gap is. Obviously, you can't see an anchor on here. You could put one on if you wanted to using um, some some cobblestone walls or things like that. If you've done my uh, uh, Queen Anne's Revenge, you'll know. What a, what a big one looks like, but you just need to make it smaller probably. Um, I've got some of the fences around, so birch fence and white wall. That is for uh, hammocks, so that's what I've gone with. Same with here as well, some hang hammocks hanging up. 
a couple bits of detail with the oak stairs just on this main section here. Uh, we put down a table over over the cargo holds because they could always you know move that if they need to get all the way into it. Uh, that wouldn't be a problem at all. And that's just got some you know like a lantern on it and some plates and some uh, tankards. Nice simple. Uh, got some rope on the floor, which is obviously rail, but you know rope, rail, whatever. Uh, this is where I put in the cooking station with a barrel on it, so obviously cooking up something. And yeah, a couple more of the hammocks around. Uh, looks like I've done them mostly on one side, which is weird, but that's fine. Uh, and then the captain's cabin. I quite like this. So this is where I, I put in the lamp, uh, the lamp, and also the skylight. I think it looks really good. Got a bed. You got a chest. You got a table. Uh, nice and simple, and then you can see out from everywhere. Nice and simple. There's not not too much going on in there, but I like it. I quite like it. It's a nice, simple little design. So where are we to next? Is the cargo hold? So cargo hold is filled with stuff. Um, we've got lots of barrels. We've got lots of crates. Uh, got crafting tables. Uh, we've got gunpowder here. Yep, that's gunpowder there. We've got some ropes and things like that. Uh, I haven't really got any sail anywhere, but uh, you know it's quite white, so it would look a bit weird. Uh, and we've got everything around there, lots of water, uh, more gunpowder, uh, things of that nature. It's just a stuff room, uh, the hold. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, it's quite a nice little ship, I think. I know it's not a little, little ship, but it's quite a uh, medium-sized ship, should we say. So pretty happy with how it all looks turned out and how it is. Uh, and I think it's quite cool. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Anyway, if you have, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.